What's up guys, Xavier Elon here. I do hacker rank and leak code tutorials. So check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, so this is gonna be my last video for today. I can feel the coronavirus just like, I feel weaker as the day gets by. So I'm gonna rest after this one. Um, so I'm gonna go over remove duplicates from sorted list too as my last video. I was planning on making more, but uh, just starting to hurt. So given a sorted linked list, delete all nodes that have duplicate numbers leaving only distinct numbers from the original list. Return the linked list sorted as well. So easy enough, it's already sorted. Um, they can have like more than just two of the same values. So I think that's what's different from the first version of this. I can't quite remember exactly what it was, but I don't even think you need a whiteboard explanation for this. It's pretty um, self-explanatory. So let's create a, um, let's create a dummy. So equals new list node. We're just gonna give it a value of zero. So it's sitting at the beginning of the array and dummy dot next is gonna be equal to head. So that's what we'll return at the end since it's still pointing to the beginning of the array. <clears throat> and let's create prev, which is what we're gonna use to um, iterate through the linked list. So prev equals dummy. And then let's just loop through the array. So while prev.next does not equal null and prev.next.next .next does not equal null. Um, the reason the second one is included is because you're comparing one value and the next value. So you have to make sure if there's no prev.next.next, .next, um, we don't need to keep checking. Um, I think it would return out of bounds if we didn't have that in there. Okay, so then we just have to check for if prev.next.val equals equals prev.next.next.val. So we got to grab that value and store it because there's there could be oops multiple multiple of the same value right here. So we want to store it in a value. So I'm trying to zoom in more. I called it duplicate. And while um, prev dot next does not equal null, and prev dot next dot val equals duplicate. So this is basically saying while <coughs> while prev dot next isn't null, so while we're not at the end of the list, and while prev dot next dot val is still equal to duplicate. Um, prev dot, we're just going to move prev dot next along the list, one ahead of the list, iterate it once. And that's it. And the only other thing is outside of the if statement, we just need an else. Um, so if the values aren't the same, we just need to move prev along, iterate it once. So prev equals prev dot next. And then at the end, we just return dummy dot next, because that's still pointing to head. And you just got to spell return right. And so this is um, <clears throat> O of n runtime and O of one space complexity. Yeah, so it worked. Um, it turned out really slow for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's how you guys do it. Thanks for watching.